Hello, this is Shayna Hiller from Build Your Personal Yoga Business, and today I would like to discuss what you should do if and when somebody leaves your yoga class while you are teaching. If a student unexpectedly gets up and leaves the class, how should you respond? Now, just so you know, this is a direct question and request that I received from one of my subscribers here on this channel. That being said, if you ever have a specific topic or subject or question related to teaching yoga or growing your yoga business that you would like for me to address, I do that. So leave a comment and let me know and I will create a comprehensive video on it for you, for all of us, because your question, even you th if you think it's a silly question, is likely not a silly question and it's something that when you ask it, it's also going to support other people as well. So the first thing that I will say to you regarding the likely event, I'm not even going to say unlikely event, that a yoga student leaves your class if you are teaching public yoga classes, even if you're teaching on a retreat or anywhere really, that they leave your class, the first thing I will say to you is do not take it personally. And you may say, well, how? It feels very personal. Someone literally just got up and left in the middle of my class. Don't take it personally. Now, if you are a people pleaser type or a partially recovered people pleaser, I'm on my path of recovering from people pleasing, it can definitely feel personal. So what I'm going to tell you, maybe this is a gentle reminder, is that your job is not to make everybody happy. And it is not recommended to change or edit the way in which you show up and teach just because one person left. And I know how tempting it can be to focus on that one person as opposed to, I don't know, the 15 other people who are still in the class and to get all caught up in our heads about why did that person leave? What did I do wrong? But that's only going to send you into a spiral of stress and self-doubt. So shift the focus to the people who are still there and do your best not to take it personally. Now, of course, if you can sense that somebody is getting their stuff together and they are about to leave. Now, I'm not just talking about those people who leave five minutes before Shavasana because that happens sometimes. I do my best to let my students know beforehand that if they have to leave before Shavasana, to let me know beforehand. I'm talking about someone who straight up gets up in the middle of the class to leave the class. So if you can sense that somebody is gathering their belongings and rolling up their mat and you're in the middle of teaching, it depends on how much multitasking you can do while still holding space for the rest of the class. But when I see that happening, because it has happened to me, and as mentioned, it probably will happen to you if you are teaching regularly, is I will tiptoe and scurry and frolic over to that person and just check in with them. Hey, are you okay? And oftentimes the response that I get is, yeah, I just got a really bad headache or I'm just not feeling well right now or I'm dehydrated. And then I'm like, absolutely take care of yourself, leave, right? It's, it's, I've never gotten the response of, I hate you. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life, right? Now, if 30 people leave your class at once, that may be a, a, an invitation to start to check in with yourself of, huh, isn't that interesting? Why are so many people leaving? And again, it's not about taking it personally per se, it's about learning from that experience and how can I have shifted things in order to provide a uh, more nourishing experience. But if it's just a, one person leaving the class, please do your best to do the inner work to not take it personally. And even if you don't have time or the ability to go and check in with that person or that student before they leave, can you assume that they are taking good care of themselves? So if anything, you can actually feel happy and grateful that they are taking care of themselves and leaving the class early. So that is an invitation. Of course, if that person left the class and stayed in the lobby or at the studio and you see them after class, instead of ignoring that person and assuming that they want nothing to do with you because they left, I would approach them and check in with them and see how they're doing. Because again, that 
first and foremost is going to let them know that they are seen and that you are concerned about their well-being, which is actually part of the teaching. And for you as the instructor, it will give you the clarity. Again, you may never end up knowing why someone left your class. That's just part of the process of being a yoga teacher. So if anything, can you allocate some space in your consciousness, in your brain, for knowing that that may happen, that first and foremost, you are not here to please everybody. We all have our different likes and dislikes in terms of the style of yoga, the way in which it's transmitted, the energy of the teacher and the sequence and the space. So if somebody is not vibing with your flavor, please don't go and try to change your flavor. That's okay. Say, okay, thank you for showing up and, and trying and maybe it's not a fit. And continue to teach and show up in your authenticity for the people who are in your classes and do your best not to take it personally. Again, if you do know that person or have a chance to connect with them one-on-one, -on -one, check in with them so you can establish that conscious communication. All right, I hope that this serves you. If you have any questions, again, as mentioned, subscribe if you aren't subscribed so you can check out all the videos. Leave me a comment with a specific inquiry or subject matter or title, and I will go ahead and film the answer for you. All right, my loves, have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy teaching. Mwah. Keep being your authentic self. Namaste.